Now let's extend the problem into a more interesting case. Have you ever wondered why the CEOs of well-known companies like Coca-Cola, Nestle, or Pepsi, or some tobacco companies, why these CEOs make so much money? They have millions of salaries per year. So why have you ever wondered why this is the case? Why they are so special? Why do they deserve that much money? Okay, if you solve this problem, part E, you will have a very good understanding about why. Okay, all right, so now let me introduce the special input, okay? Uh, let's suppose that 90 in the previous problem, um, 90 in the cost structure, let's say this 90 uh, was the um, uh, was the base salary, okay? So 90 is the base salary to hire a manager, okay? Okay, so it can be described like this. Each of the many potential managers has alternative job opportunities that pay salary 90 per period. So that has to be the base salary, okay? Now let's assume that there are special managers graduated from some special university, okay? They they have the ability to lower the cost, okay? So initially, this was the cost for the normal managers. 90 is the base salary for them. And this is the cost structure. So it was 20Q, but these special managers have special skill to lower the cost. <clears throat> they can go uh, lower down the cost. This second part of the cost, this second part of the cost to 14Q plus 0.1q squared instead of this, okay? 14q plus. So they have this ability to lower the cost, okay? <clears throat> and assume that these special managers will also get the same base salary, which is 90, because their opportunity cost is 90 outside, the, outside this specific industry, okay? All right. So the question is, what is the new long-run supply in this industry? Okay, what are the salaries of these uh, special managers? Okay, I want you to stop the video and think for more than 10 minutes to answer this question. Okay, so we did the normal manager case in, in the part A, B, C, D previously. Okay. Now, with a special manager, the new cost function is the following. 90 is the, their base salary, and they can lower the cost down to 14Q plus 0.1Q squared. Okay, now let's try to draw the supply curve with the special manager. Okay, so let's first get the shutdown price. To do that, uh, you equalize A and C with MC. Okay, when you do that, you get the shutdown quantity, which is 30. You get the shutdown price, which is 20. Okay, so this will be the special manager uh, firms, the firm that hires special manager their supply curve. Okay, 20 is the shutdown price, 30 is the shutdown quantity, 5p minus 70, that's the supply curve. Okay, so if you put down everything, if p, yeah, p equals mc, you, you solve p equals mc, and then solve for q, that's 5p minus 70, you have the mc curve as a supply curve if p is bigger than the shutdown price. If P is equal to 20, it's 0 or 30. Okay, so that's the supply curve of the special manager. Okay, here in the red graph, I redraw the normal manager's uh, supply curve. We did it in the in the part A of this of the same problem. Okay, 
All right. So for the normal range, we we obtained the shutdown price, which is 26, and shutdown quantity 30, and the supply curve was 5p minus 100. So let's compare these two. Okay. Now we are interested in getting the long run supply curve when there there. There are three special managers in this market, in this industry, and there are infinitely many normal managers in this market. Okay, so three of this and infinitely many of this. So how, what is our new long run supply curve? In order to do that, you have to assume for each price range. Let's assume that P is smaller than 20. Okay, what is the supply curve? The supply is zero. Nobody wants to produce. Okay, so now let's assume that P is equal to 20. Okay, then there are three special managers. Okay, so only three firms that higher special manager may produce. Okay, so P equals 20 is a break even point for the special manager firm. So, so you maybe no firms will produce then zero. If one firm produces, then 30. Two firms produce, then it will be 60. If all the three firms produce, then it will be 90. So the supply will be zero, either 0, 30, 60, or 90. And what is the salary of the special manager? They will get, they will get only base salary, which is 90. Okay, now let's think about the price between 20 and 26. Price below 26, okay, but above 20, who is going to produce? Okay, only the three firms that have special manager will produce, and all the normal managers will not be able to work in this industry, okay, because it's below their shutdown price. Okay, so in that case, if this is the case, three firms with the special manager will produce. Okay. What is the output? Three times their supply, each firm supply with a special manager, which is 5p minus 70. So this is the supply in the market. Each firm has producer surplus. Okay, You can calculate the producer surplus of the each firm. So this is the p, so you can get the trapezoid area, p minus 20, 30, 30 plus, 5p minus 70, okay? So one half of the height and the sum of the two bays, okay? That's the trapezoid area, which is the producer surplus. And because we uh, these firms are in the perfect competition, okay, what happens? All the producer surplus that is earned by each firm by hiring special manager will go to the bonus of the special manager. Okay, so special manager will get 90 plus producer surplus of each firm. This is because they are in, under the perfect competition. Okay, and each firm cannot make any profit. Okay, each firm, all the firms are in the fair competition. They can uh, compete to hire this special manager. How are they competing to, the, to get this special manager? They can only do that by bidding higher price, higher salary for them. They suggest higher salary, okay? So in equilibrium, so many firms want to hire this special manager because if you hire a special manager, you may get the profit. However, because you're on the perfect competition, very fair competition, no firm is able to make profit. So any surplus that earns, that is earned by each firm, will all go to the special manager's salary. Okay? So this special manager enjoy this salary because the special manager is the one who has a special skill who is able to lower the cost. Okay? So because of the competition, they get higher salary and every single firm itself has zero economic profit that's the key of the perfect competition in the long run okay
Okay, so this is a very interesting case. Okay, so this is why all the CEOs, these uh, big company CEOs, well-known company CEOs, they get millions of dollars because all the producer uh, so surplus goes to their salary. Okay, now what happens if price is exactly equal to 26? Even the normal manager firms may enter the market and they are indifferent of producing 0 or 30. Okay? There can be infinitely many firms like that. Also, special manager firms, of course, they will operate and they will uh, produce this much at P equals 26. Okay? So three firms with special managers, five uh, times P, this is P, this is the supply, this is 180. Firms with normal manager, they're indifferent of producing zero or 30. So the supply in the market will be 180 plus multiple of 30. Okay. And the salary of the special manager will be 90 plus the producer surplus. You can calculate the purchase surplus when the price is 26. You can put 26, 26 here. Then you will see that the salary of the special manager will be, it will have to be 360. Okay, so this is the, this is the description of the long run supply of the market with the three special managers. And here, by using this example, I hope that you understood why the CEO's, some of the CEO's salary can be ridiculously high.